Hello friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if it is your first time here. I'm Martina Lilly. Today we're going to do a nice chill look using the Odin's Eye Sea Talk palette. It's in collaboration with Laura May Beauty and I think this is such an incredible palette. I have the Valentino foundation to try out, the new Givenchy concealers to try out and a lot of products that you've seen around my channel, you know, a lot before is what I'm trying to spit out there or something like that. Anyway, uh, hopefully it sounds interesting to you. Do the YouTube things, like, subscribe, all of that jazz, and let's get into it. This is going to be a very relaxed, get ready with me style video. I know I do a lot of them, but honestly, they're my favorite videos to film. So here we are. Also, yes, I am wearing my wig today. If you are new here, I suffer from hair loss and I wear wigs, hair toppers, and sometimes my natural hair, it's just a mix. Uh, I did go through a really exciting phase a couple of months ago. I'm gonna prime with the Viseart primer today, by the way, as I'm saying this, where uh, I felt like my hair had actually been the thickest it ever was, well, for the last like five years, and I could wear like hair extensions and it was good, and then now it all fell out again. <laughs> I think because of stress and stuff and medication changes. So that's all fine. Um, but, you know, you win some, you lose some. I don't mind wearing alternative hair, you know. I know I need to do an updated video. I just don't even know where to begin. I really don't. But I do have a video about hair loss on my channel, if you are wondering. It is one of those subjects that is really, I feel like, quite tab... Not taboo, but like tab... It's not talked about a lot, especially in women, because it is embarrassing. You know, women are... You feel like I, I felt like I don't I'm not gonna speak for all women um, You feel like as a I felt like as a woman sorry that you, I should have had like this beautiful mermaid hair and I absolutely do not and So yeah, and that's why I talk about it a lot in my videos because if I can make someone else feel less alone Job done. We're gonna use sea talk because I really want to do a look Pretty much a basic look I guess just using these two because like this is just me in some eyeshadows it's like my color story so I have got a review up on my channel I'm gonna take my intensify stick from Pat McGrath Labs first I do have a review up on my channel of the Odin's IC talk palette and the flora story palette which was makeup just for fun's collaboration with them um, if you're wondering I'll try and remember to link it down below but if I forget it is up on the channel and I, this is my first time actually trying the Odin's Eye brand and I'm just so impressed. These palettes are impeccable, truly. I'm going to take a rep at number two. I've been doing my metallics first and then my mattes. So we're going to stick on that trait or train, I guess. Uh, we're going to pick up the Smoky Pearl color. If I seem a little out of sorts in this video, it's because I am. I don't know. I'm not feeling super well and I'm not quite sure why, so but I really want to film, so we're going to push through. But if I seem really spacey and out of it, that's why. I'm just going to tap this in pretty much all over the lid. This color is really beautiful. Wow. I do need to bring my mirror a little bit more forward so I can see though. Wow, that's gorgeous. It's like a silver with a very soft smoky purple to it, but it's like really a soft smoky purple. It's very, very, very taupe cleaning and it is gorgeous and the sparkle on it wow the sparkle on it is beautiful I've been doing so many colorful looks that I really just wanted to like really sit in a neutral color story today god this formula is just impeccable truly Ugh, I love it Look at that. Wow. If I was getting married again this year, you know what I've been meaning to do? And I might actually do it for my wedding anniversary because I eloped last year, if you didn't know. And um, I have like a video of my wedding makeup and like answering any questions about it up on my channel as well. I'll try, I say I'll, I'll link it. I never remember, but if I do remember, I will, I promise. Um, but it is up on the channel. Anyway, it's coming up to my wedding anniversary. So maybe for my wedding anniversary, I'll do like, if I was to do my wedding makeup this year, what would it look like? Because I feel like I would use this shade, honestly. It is gorgeous. Let's go into Dolphin Tail. It's a ref of 14. I really like this Dolphin Tail color. It's such a lovely, cool tone transition shade. I'm just gonna start, I'll tap it on the outer corner here first, and then I'll slowly take it through the crease. We 
if you are doing this in reverse and you're used to doing your mattes first, I mean, I'm not a makeup artist, so take it with a grain of salt. This is just what works for me. Um, just get a smaller brush when you go to do the mattes than you would like if you, like for example, if I was gonna put this matte down first, I would take a brush like a Refer 28 or something like that, a fluffier blending brush or my Refer 33 even. Um, but when I've already got my metallic down, I like to use a smaller brush so that I can just like really concentrate the matte and just gently blend it out. I also forgot how uh, pigmented these mattes are, so I'll need to spend a minute blending this out now because that's my own fault for not paying attention. I just wriggle my, my brush around essentially to like blend it out and it will just eventually blend itself out, you know? Now I've got quite a bit of glitter like through my crease and stuff because obviously this shade, well not obviously, but this shade is glittery. And so because I'm wiggling it around, the glitter is gonna like move around. Now that doesn't bother me because I kind of like that more like messy, non-structured look. But if you wanted to like keep the glitter quite contained um, to like where you wanna lay it down, then you definitely wanna go in with your mattes first and then the shimmer shade. I think that's really pretty. I love how like the glitter has actually gone through the crease and it's like a little fairy dusting. I like it. Going in with my Refer 14 again, I'm just gonna take the smallest amount of Night Swim, just like a small, small amount. And I'm just going to deepen that at the corner just slightly. If you don't want this to be too glam and you want it to be like more, say, day friendly, depending on obviously your version of day friendly, just skip this step altogether if you want it to be a bit softer. I like to build up my outer corner color quite a bit sometimes or most times just because I find it lifts my hooded eyes a little bit, but it's up to you. There we go. I'm gonna take my Refi face primer. This is the Glow and Sculpt um, face primer and you just kind of like squeeze a little bit out of this like, see that fancy little rolly thing here? And you know, I guess it's supposed to like be a face roller, I guess. I feel like the packaging is definitely gimmicky, but I am here for the gimmick and it feels really nice and refreshing on the face. But you probably just wanna like sanitize it after you use it. I don't though, which is probably where these come from. <laughs> so I guess do as I say, not as I do. But it does feel nice. I'm gonna be really extra today <laughs> and I'm gonna take a bit of my Fenty Beauty Easy Droplet All Over Glow Enhancer in Taffy Topaz. I'm just gonna pop this on the outer perimeter of my face. I really like these Easy Droplets. So many people like hated them. I really, that keeps making a real funny noise by the way, that's not me. I really like them. I think they're quite lovely under a foundation. Or mixed in with matte foundations, these drops are like awesome. For foundation, I picked up the Very Valentino foundation. This is in the shade LM2. And I've used this once before the other day. I did this, like, I really risked the biscuit the other day. And I used this when I went into the office for work. Because normally I work from home. This day I had to work in the office and I tried this for the first time. I was like, as I was putting it on, I was like, what are you doing? But, you know, I really wanted to try it. When it first went on, it was like super matte. I'm just going to take it on my sponge. It was super matte. Also, it, it looks too light as it goes on, but as soon as all my makeup's on and it's, I think, it, I don't know if it oxidizes, but it definitely warms to my skin and then it becomes the right shade. So as I put this on, you're gonna be like, that's not the right shade for you, but I promise you, as it goes on, it is. Um, but yeah, I wore this and as, it, as I applied it the first time, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like matte. And I didn't hydrate my skin properly and I was like, oh, this is gonna go bad, but because I do have combo skin, it actually, as my like um, skin warmed up and did get a little bit oily through the day, it wore really, 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 really nicely. And I didn't have to like put a lot of powder on either. And it just kind of like, yeah, it just wore really well. Um, it reminds me of a very lightweight version of the NYX Can't Stop Point Stop foundation. Not as matte and like definitely not as matte and also a lot more lightweight, but it just has that kind of finish to it, I find, on the skin.
as I said, I know I look like a ghost. I promise it will come together. Now, if you have dry skin, I don't think, you, I don't know if you will like this foundation, but if you do have dry or normal skin even, and you are going to try it, honestly, hydrate. Like, hydrate more than you could eat. When you think you've hydrated, hydrate even more again, because it, it is drying in the sense that it's like a matte finish and it will like dry down quick on the skin. So uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. But if you have combo to oily skin, like oily skin, I think you'll super duper love it. If you have combo skin, I think you'll love it as well because if you have combo skin, it might go on a bit dry. Um, like I definitely feel like my skin looks like matte at the moment, but as your skin warms up to it, like it's going to, um, really work into the skin lovely. At least that was my experience. I brought the new Givenchy uh, Prisme Libre Skin Care and Concealer and Corrector. This is peach and this is 95, which we'll get to. It's the concealer. Um, the peach, this color corrector is like, it is a touch too dark for me. Like you can see that, right? They didn't really have like a, uh, like they didn't have light peach, medium peach. Like, you know how Bobbi Brown, I think they do their color corrector shades quite well. They kind of cater towards the different tones. Whereas like this one doesn't do that. Which I do think is like an opportunity missed out on for them. But anyway, so this one is a little bit dark, but we'll give it a go. I kind of used it the other day and I mixed it with a white concealer to kind of see if it'll work. But I thought I'd try it today. I feel like I look insane. It's going to come together. Now we have the concealer and this is in N95. If you're in Australia and you're wondering where I picked these up from, I got them from Feel Unique. So I will link it down below for you guys. Um, shipping wasn't crazy quick, so just keep that in mind. But I think the shipping was free and, you know, it was a way for us to get them because I don't know if uh, Australia's going to get them anytime soon. I'm going to blend this out with the BK109. I used this the other day, this concealer. It is actually quite lovely. Um, if you don't need a lot of coverage under your eyes, and I think like regard, I actually think regard, maybe if you have super oily under eyes, you probably won't like it. But everyone outside of that range, I think you'll really, really like this concealer because the finish of it on the under eyes is gorgeous. It's definitely a medium coverage concealer or a light to medium coverage, but you can layer it. It layers really, really well because it is so lightweight and thin. So if you have textured under eyes or mature under eyes or anything like that, under eye wrinkles, whatever, you know, it's going to work really well with them because it is so lightweight and thin. It's almost like having nothing on the under eye. So because of that, you can build it up. So if you don't have a lot of dark circles or things to cover up, I mean, you're just gonna probably fall head over heels in love with it. But if you're like me, who actually, you know, needs to work to cover, to cover your under eyes up, even though, you know, I love a full coverage concealer, I still really like it. In terms of the color corrector, I think if you're a medium upward skin tone and peach correctors work really well for you, like a true, true, almost deeper peach, then I think you'll really like the color corrector because the color corrector formula is really lovely. It's really similar to the concealer. It's just that this is too dark for me, so I need to mix it with a lighter shade to make it work, you know? For cream contour, I'm going to use something I haven't used in a really long time and something that I think I said I was going to declutter and then I actually ended up hanging on to. So this is a Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. And yes, I'm pretty certain in my last declutter, I was like, I'm going to get rid of this because I don't actually super like it. Um, I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand and then work it into my sponge and tap it on. And the reason why I kept it was because I noticed everyone starting to come out with these contour ones and I wanted to be able to compare the formulas um, and let you guys know which ones are comparable and all that kind of stuff because I know I'm in a min minority, sorry, that around like this wand and kind of not really super loving it. It's obviously not a bad product, it's just not my favourite. I just find it's kind of a little bit finicky. You do need to be mindful, it can lift your foundation if you're not careful. You know, that kind of a thing. For me, I also think one of the biggest reasons why I don't super love it is I'm pretty sure it breaks me out. So, which you're probably like, well, why are you using it then? You're like, I'm just not 100% positive. So I guess if I get breakouts from this, then we'll know, right? I mean, I think it's looking quite nice with this foundation though. Now let's set the face. Uh, I'm gonna take my Make Beauty powder for my under eyes. This is the Diffusion Set Translucent Press Powder in Translucent Fair. I'm gonna take it on my BK113 
And I don't like this as a all over face powder, but this as an under eye powder has become one of my faves. It is beautiful, but I just really concentrate it to my under eyes and that's it. But look, look at the, can you guys see the difference? Isn't it? It's incredible. If you have dry skin, you'll like this all over the face, but it's just, it doesn't wear long enough for me all over the face. But for the under eyes, my lordy, has it become an absolute fave. Because this foundation is actually quite uh, matte, I really don't need to powder. I just need like the softest dust in a powder. So I'm just going to take my House Labs powder because this kind of still gives you a really nice glue. I'm just going to take this on my KVD 25 brush. Oh, this might not be the right brush, actually. It's not the right brush. It's not the right brush. Update, I'm going to take it on my BK102. I'm just gonna quickly go off camera and do some brows and then we will come back and finish the rest of the face. Brows are done. And I also just took a little lunch break and now we're gonna get back into it. So let's finish actually this lower lash line. I'm just gonna go into Dolphin Tail with my Sephora Precision Shadow Brush and just run that onto your For eyeliner, I'm going to pop some of my Victoria Beckham Beauty Black Satin Cajole Liner on my top waterline. And then I might actually just smudge a little bit along the lash line as well. For the lower waterline, I'm just going to take my LH Cosmetics Grayish Coral Crayon. I don't actually know what I'm going to put on my inner corner yet, so we'll leave that for now and I'm going to put my Lash Clash Mascara on. Now we can finally bronze up the face, which we desperately need. So I'm going to take my Victoria Beckham bronzer today. I just mixed the colors together. This is a BKA507. I'm just going to warm my skin, warm my skin up because uh, we need it. We need it. Bring myself back from, from the brink of what feels like death. <laughs> For highlight, we are going to take my Say Super Glowy Gel. I feel like it's the perfect kind of shade to go with this eye look. I picked up the new Say foundation. I am very excited to get it. I had to get it from Cult Beauty because they're the only place Australians can really get it. And uh, the shipping is going to take a while. So it's going to be forever before I get it. Um, and the hype will probably be over, but I am excited to get it and try it still. <laughs> And I do love their highlight. It is truly one of my all time favorites. It really is. I might just take an ever so soft touch of the uh, Natasha Denona Plexi Glow, just ever so softly and strategically. Actually, I'm gonna take the Plexi Glow for my inner corner highlight. Blush, we are going to go with the NARS Liquid Blush in Behave. I love, love these. They're so good. We'll take this on a Ruffa 37. So I just pump it out on the back of my hand and then work it kind of into the brush, you know? I just love this formula. It's so... Normally I use a sponge. I don't actually know why I'm using a brush, but that's what we're going to do. Now I'm just blending it out with the sponge because... Oh, it's just the one of the most natural blushes. Gosh, it's wonderful. And then let's just take a little bit of the NARS Behave Powder Blush. Just to set it a little bit. This is a Riffa 5. I'm just going to take my Benefit Professional Setting Spray. I'll just spray it directly onto the sponge and then press it in just to really melt all of the products in. 
face is looking so good honestly i've been filming this video for like two and a bit hours because i'm just super slow today and i had to take a break and uh i feel like the skin is really you can like see how it's like warming up really nicely to the skin that foundation love it i think it's gonna be victoria beckham girl for lips i think it's just gonna be a perfect match And then I'm just going to take the Victoria Beckham number one definer, like lip liner. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, zoom back so you can see the finished look. Two seconds. This is the finished look using the C Talk palette from Odin's Eye and Lauren May Beauty. Plus, you know, all of the other makeup that we used. Everything will be link in, linked in the description box down below for you guys. They are affiliate links, so if you use them, thank you so much. Let me know what you think of this look. I love it. Like, this is such a me comfort zone look. And I feel like this is exactly, you know how I was talking about in the video, if I was going to redo my wedding makeup, like, and potentially doing that. I don't know if I even should, because I feel like this is exactly what I would wear if I was had my time over. I feel like this is exactly what it would be. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think, because I'm not going to lie, I'm madly in love with this makeup. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It was very calm and chill, and hopefully you enjoyed that. And if you're watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. I appreciate you so, so much, and I hope you have the most amazing day, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you next time. Bye!